you got to train your forearms. There's no way getting around it. I've been noticing a weird trend or situation. I really don't know how to describe it, but I meet a lot of people, you know, whenever I go anywhere and whenever I get on the table with someone, they just keep losing their hand and I say like, you, you need to work on your wrist. And then they will show me the things that they do, where they spend most time on. And it's all, you know, all these cool lifts with back pressure, side pressure, pronator, kind of not spending enough time on the hand, on the wrist, the fingers, you know, the cup, where it is, in my opinion, the most important thing. So none of the techniques, even the flop wrist press, you still need some wrist integrity. You still need a lot of power, even in this position to be able to drive through any kind of position, the stronger wrist, stronger hands, stronger fingers you have, more you can do on table, more variations are open to you, more styles you can use. So, and wrist is, I think it's the easiest thing to do, you know. My best advice for everyone is just always just train your wrist more, you know. Whenever I do a training program for any of my athletes or anyone I'm coaching online, they will have Every day there will be exercise that goes through the wrist. Not necessarily it is isolated. Sometimes it's together with some other exercise, you know, even row motions or, you know, hanging pull-ups or things like that, but it's still always gonna work your forearms. Forearms are one of those muscles that we continuously use throughout the day. So they need a lot of work. In my opinion, the best thing you can do is spend a lot of time on volume. And this is another thing that I notice and it kind of, guys are so, so worried about the weights they lift that they just keep going to bigger and bigger weights and their range of motion reps, the quality of the lift changes. So my advice, and you can take it or you, you don't, you know, but my best advice is make sure your first and last rep of the exercise looks the same. If it does look the same, you're actually doing the work. If it looks completely different, either range of motion suffers or something else suffers, you're doing two different exercises. Volume is the thing that you should be working on. A lot of people will go to Devon Larratt's training systems and they will say like, I, I did 50 reps of this and then, for me it always is like how much mentally you can do the exercise. So my rep ranges most of the time will be 10, 12, down to five, six, maybe three. For forearms, three is not the optimum, five would be the optimum if I'm working for the strength. So today, I'm doing the easiest exercise you can do in any gym. Like absolutely the easiest exercise you can do. And it is wrist curls with a dumbbell on your knee. I'm using a fat grip because when I'm using a fat grip, it will add tension not only on my wrist, but also on my fingers. And on the angle that I'm using, which is about 45 degree angle with my wrist on my knee, the tension is the highest when the wrist is flexed. So I'm getting most stress on my wrist when it's flexed, but I'm getting enough stress on straight wrist position or even bent back position at the start. So this comes from the angles you use on your training. Uh, the easiest exercise you can do. So today I did some my side pressure training and uh, pronation. So my hand wasn't involved that much, so I need to do extra work. As I'm trying to peak for my super match or prepare for competition, I will use this exercise once a week. I will do it for high volume, which would be like six sets of 10 reps. And today is high volume plus high intensity. Because I know, like after this, I will need to take a break for <laughs> three days. Uh, I will not be my best at wrist curling, for sure. But I'm ready to make that sacrifice for the future so I can get stronger. So I'm picking 38 kilos, which is, you know, a lot of guys, well, that's not a lot of weight. It's not a lot of weight. I can do more, for sure. I can, we have 50, 55 kilo dumbbells. I could probably do those, but I will not be able to do the same rep ranges, same quality lifts for 10, 10 sets. That's the thing. Put your ego on side. Make sure you put in the work. You put in the work, you get the repetitions. A lot of times guys are doing their, their exercises and their repetitions like they're jerking off. <laughs> you know, it's just real quick. In arm wrestling, when my wrist closes, 
it needs to stay closed. So I need to be strong at that position. If I spend zero time in that position, most of the time I will not be strong in that position. I might have really good start of the flexion, but my flexion will not be able to sustain it all throughout the movement. So the easiest thing you can do, take a dumbbell and just work on it. Don't have a fat grip, use a towel. Uh, sometimes I'll use cone grips from uh, uh, arm sports that made the wrist ball. I like that because it even out the tension on all my fingers and goes more on the bottom two where I actually arm myself. Any kind of exercise, spend time on building your wrist. That's the idea. If you're always going heavy, you're always on that limit where you're exhausting yourself. So I will have my heavy where I'm doing like 38 kilos for six sets of 10. Closer to competition it will come, I'll lower my volume. Uh, I want to have bigger volume days where it's like, you know, six sets and I'll do 30 kilos. Because the difference between lifting something for, let's say, five reps and 10 reps is mental exhaustion. How focused can you stay on that, on that rep? So I can lift the same, same weight, like I'll take 38 kilos and I can do maybe 10 reps but I will be more exhausted at the end because the weight is heavier and it just takes out of me much more. So I'm much better at keeping it lower and then slowly increasing. Um, like the problem is always we wanna lift big weights, but like I said, forearms are involved in a lot of things. And when you arm muscle, they work crazy amount of, you know, and if you wanna have that extra, just extra work put in. You have to have like either it's gonna be big load for many sets or high volume for many sets. The, the problem is where, you know, some guys will do wrist curls, three sets of 10 and that's it. You know, they just like, I, I, I did my work. No, you can do pretty much every day and you can train on different uh, exercises. You don't have to have cool handles uh, that's another trend like, oh, I don't have the handle, so I'm, I cannot work on Bullshit, you know. Uh, dumbbells are great, barbells are great. It will just add stress to different parts. I have made all these videos like four years ago where we talk about like, where is the most tension, where this exercise is most beneficial for you. So in arm wrestling, it's either from starting position, bent position, anything in between your cup from this position, your cup from this position. So different exercise will add different stress to different parts. For you, it's, it's the, you have to put in work and you have to understand your weaknesses. And the problem is guys are always, uh, you know, we just want to do things where we're stronger and just keep, you know, but if you never fix where you are weak, you're always going to have that pitfall and you're always going to have that weakness exposed by someone better so fix your shit <laughs> that's pretty much what i want to say and uh, do wrist curls you know do as many as you can every day change the intensity it doesn't have to be like every time like you know when you feel like your forearms cramping no you can still do a lot of work in a lot of guys are gifted with strong forearms um i'm one of those guys that wasn't i have to put in a lot of work not to lose my wrist i'm looking back at a lot of matches i had you know, not so long ago, maybe four or five years ago, three years ago, I was losing my hand or I was afraid to lose my hand and I lost the matches because of that. And I put in like, okay, I was, I'm, I'm doing a lot of wrist work, but I should be doing more. So um, I hope this helps, you know, it's all about, you know, don't bitch about it, just put in work, yeah. Stay strong, love Armisen.